Hi, Pisces. Sorry, I gotta get my lid on here. So, I was starting your video, and my camera kept going in and out of focus, like really funny focus, and it was really annoying me, and I couldn't get it to fix, and it was like, okay, do I take it on the autofocus, or do I make it? Whatever, and my hair is driving me crazy. I just feel like things just, oh, things just aren't right. Like the, like things are too blurry or something. I don't know. Is that how you're feeling at the end of February? That things are just like the lines are blurred. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I kind of know why you're starting to feel like that. Like, mm. except it's your energy that's doing it. It's Neptune. It's Neptune in Pisces. It's Venus in Pisces. It's Mars and Neptune squaring off. It's Mercury in Pisces. Things are blurred. Mercury in Pisces, like nobody likes to have Mercury in Pisces because we don't know what to say. Venus goes, Venus is like the saving grace. For February. Venus and Pisces is the saving grace for February because that's when love conquers all. Doesn't matter what's said, doesn't matter what's done. Um, when it comes right down to it, there is unconditional love and that abounds, right? I'm shutting. Um, you guys. I know that you're coming like into that moment in your life where um, you were really feeling very balanced and life was like happy and getting stable and you're starting to believe in yourself and then your season shows up. Yeah. Um, and then your season shows up. And you start to realize that there are things that were a little bit out of balance that you still have to, like, move away from. And that's okay. The eclipse is really doing a good job of taking all of that stuff out of your life, right? You guys do really good, obviously, with Neptune energy. Because you are the daydreamers of the Zodiac. You're very psychic. Um, you guys um, can often... Um, hurt people with your daydreams, you know? Oof. Because you want things to be a certain way. Nine of Cups. Six of Swords. Ooh, Six of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Nine of Cups. So we have three sixes here. So you guys really want to find that balance. You're doing that balancing act. We have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. So, if you have a Libra in your life that you feel like you're giving too much to, um, and maybe they're just offering you a little tiny bit of whatever, I think you'll be moving away from that. Um, or if you have a Taurus in your life, because I kind of see that there's this newness happening. If it's not a Libra and it's an earth sign that you've really wanted to, like, I don't know, connect with. Because I feel like there's this big connection here. It's with an earth sign or a Libra. Libras are starting to open up a little bit um, because they've been holding on to some serious, serious issues and they're letting that go. Um, but there's this new cycle that's coming, the world and the Ten of Cups. Mm. There you are, the hanged man. This new cycle that is coming is going to I'm so confused right now. 
Like, seriously, the lines are so blurred. Because I want to say that this new cycle that you're coming to, yes, it is going to bring a lot of happiness, but it doesn't feel like that right now. You feel really, really stuck up in your head. There's not a lot of faith behind this hanged man. You want to have that faith. Like, and you know it's there. And you really know that there's something, like, really fantastic to jump into. But you're, this is the fear. You're afraid that whatever you jump into might cause the five of cups. But you, all you can see right now, this daydreamy, this very Neptune daydreaminess, oh, I want to get into this, is so happy. Like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so much better. Like, things are making me feel so much better and so much more balanced. And it's like all is right with the world. And then all of a sudden, Neptune happens. Nep the Mars and Neptune conjunct or, uh, square off happens on the 17th which is thankfully after Valentine's Day. You know, we can be all daydreamy and, and know, you know, oh my gosh, the Six of Cups connection. Oh, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then we get to <clears throat> Mars and Neptune square off, and that confusion sets in. And you're like, but I was feeling so good. I was feeling so good, and I was ready to, to take a leap of faith, and I was ready to have faith in myself with this Libra or this Taurus or I was ready to um, you know you could be getting married somebody could be getting engaged it is Valentine's Day next week or you could just be reconnecting with somebody that is that makes you feel very balanced and it's a very spiritual part of who you are and then Neptune and Mars. I keep saying that because when Mars hits Neptune, it's like, and then Mercury is in, is in your sign. It's like all hell's going to break loose. Everybody's going to think that everybody else is lying. All is lost. All is lost. All is lost. Right? And then we start moving in a direction where we don't really want to go. So I want you to like turn that chariot around and get out of your hanged man state and pop back here to the fool and have some faith. Like I want you to know that this nine of cups and this ten of cups is real. Like it just is. It's real. I'm not pretending that there's a new beginning, a new cycle coming for you guys. This is not pretend for me. And I've had to tell all the signs, you know, what is really happening in your life, the realness, that is what is real. We have to remember that. Because things are going to be very tricky this month. And thank goodness that Mercury only goes into Pisces once a year because, dear God, life would be a little bit messy. Mercury likes communication. You know, and that Neptunian energy... We are not going to, it's not going to be easy, for sure. So, this transition, here we have the Three of Cups and we have the Death card. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, also. And the Fool is Aries. Um, and we also have the Ten of Swords. So again, coming back into this mindset, I want you to notice that there are two tens here. So it's like a cycle ending. Whatever it is that's been very, very confusing to you lately, or you're not really sure of what to do, or um, things haven't really been adding up, um, I feel like the beginning of February you started to believe in yourself again and you're seeing like the reciprocity of of all of this wonderful stuff from people coming from your past and like like it's it's almost like apologies being made and and love being given and acceptance being given and you're like oh yes yay now we can have this new beginning and then 
the five of cups shows up again and you're like, oh my God, what just happened now? But this is in your thoughts. Like, it's not really total destruction. This is just the ending of that cycle of thinking that. Because it doesn't have to be a fight. It doesn't have to be like that. I mean, you can walk away from that right now and, and trust me and that, that what is going on right now, it's not pretend. Like, your life is really moving in a good direction. You are really moving forward. Yay. Right? So just remember that as, um, as the planets move into Pisces, which you guys generally do a really, really, really good job of keeping that Neptunian energy stabilized for everybody, but with everything happening so much and Mars and Neptune squaring off at the same time, it will be a little tricky. So just remember the magic that you are. You know, we've talked about this all the time. Pisces, you guys are magic. You guys have imaginations that I could never dream of. I didn't wear my unicorn shirt today. I should have. I have a unicorn shirt. Well, I wore it yesterday. That um, It's a unicorn going up into a spaceship. That is the Pisces imagination. So remember that through all this time. You know, everybody gets to daydream right now, and it's a good thing that we all get to daydream. Um, and and feel the blessings of Venus in your sign and um, push away all of those negative thoughts that things aren't going your way because we have cycles ending. We have reciprocity coming. You can believe that whoever this person is from your past that you have a very, very strong connection with, they are here to support you. And if something should happen where, where you feel like um, the lines are a little blurred and you start to lose faith, just remember that towards the end of February and going into March, the, the Virgo full moon on March 1st will, will start to straighten everything up. Even though it's still in your season, it's in the sign of Virgo. And when, the Vir when Virgo has full moons, when the moon is full in Virgo, um, we can all start to analyze and pull things together a little bit more. And, and even though the lines will still be a little blurred, um, full moons are all about culmination. So we can like really pull things back in together, mind, body, and spirit when there's a Virgo full moon. So just keep the faith. Keep moving forward in the right direction um, and work with the transition that's coming, you know, or the Scorpio in your life, if that's the case, or the Libra in your life, or the Taurus in your life, or the Aries, or, you know, or if you have another Pisces in your life. Just keep the faith. You could have a Cancer in your life. We have the Chariot here as well. Um, I feel like I always have to name all the signs because people will be like, no, you missed this one. So all the signs, any sign that it could possibly be. <laughs> Just keep the faith, Pisces, because because right now your season is a beautiful season to always be in. I love being in Pisces season. It's it's springtime, you know. It's bringing that, or it's it's almost springtime. It's you know coming into it. So, um, just keep your head up, keep the faith, and we um, we'll get into March really well. Have a great Valentine's Day. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading, um, check out the Instant Go app. That link is below. I've also added to my website $10 email readings. You can ask me one question. It's $10 per question in the email reading. Um, and so you can order that and then email me the question if you don't have the Instant Go app. Um, also, um, all my other personal readings are on my website. Check it out, fearlessintuition.net. Um, the donations that have come in, thank you, thank you so much. I have decided that I am not going to be um, doing any paid subscriptions or paid YouTube videos or anything like that this year. Um, so all of the readings that I put onto YouTube will be free. Um, so the donations that do come in really help um, keep that free, keep the free videos coming on YouTube. So. Um, helps me create more time to be able to, to do that. So 
Um, so thank you for all of those who have donated. Um, and have a wonderful February, the rest of February, and a wonderful beginning of your birthday season. Um, happy birthday to all of those um, February, end of February Pisces babies. So I will see you guys for March readings. Bye.